नमस्ते माय डियर फ्रेंड्स हिंदू टेंपल्स वर एक्सप्लाइटेड बाय फॉरेन रूलर्स फॉर मेनी सेंचुरीज बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली हिंदू टेंपल्स वर नेगलेक्टेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट्स ऑफ हिंदूज this is the irony the congress government under pandit jawahar lal nehru neglected hindu sentiments and always cared for the minority appeasement center asked the up government to remove ram lalla idol in 1949 after pakistan radio claimed that hindus were capturing places vacated after partition ex secretary raghavendra singh <coughs> center asked up government to remove ram lalla idol in 1949 after pakistan radio claimed that hindus were capturing places vacated after partition the uttar pradesh government under the jindan chief minister govind vallabh pant was asked by the central government in 1949 to ensure the removal of the idol of ram lalla days after the news percolated of its sudden appearance and pakistan radio showed the news stressing that hindus are capturing the space vacated by a certain community after partition recalled raghavendra singh former union culture secretary and ex director of the nehru memorial museum and library while explaining the presser his grandfather Guru Dev Singh da di then Faizabad city magistrate and additional district magistrate faced he Guru Dev Singh obviously took cognizance of that and reported to the state government and which wanted the murti the idol of Ram Lalla which appeared on the night of December 22 23 of 1949 be removed fourth with that it was not possible raghavendra told ani raghavendra said it was all due to pakistan radio's announcement which would obviously whether it was kashmir or another major issue in our country keep on coming up with really false sensational and mischievous reports so the pakistan radio came out with the report and that is how perhaps delhi government to know pakistan radio showed the indians are now trying to occupy the space vacated by one section of the community since the pakistan has taken place said raghavendra ani right in the ex raghavendra singh explained the role of his grandfather gurudev singh as up's Faizabad city magistrate at the time of the emergence of the idol of Ram Lalla in 1949 when is when this happened on 1922 23 December 1949 the news spread like fire there was an influx influx of devotees in another ex and i write the pressure that was being exerted that this cannot be and fully knowing the sentiments of a large majority of people but for the fact that certain section of the community may bear a grudge against the part of this in power be it in center or state the f- what's the relevant video claiming the same the former secretary pointed when this happened ram lalla idol appeared on the night of december 22 23 of 1949 the news per- percolated around in the morning and it spread like fire 
a point in fact which had to be taken under consideration by the then city magistrate who happened to be my baba grandfather he obviously took cognizance of that and reported to the state government and which had wanted that the murti be removed forthwith that it was not possible as per raghavendra the state government had asked for the removal of the ramlala idol because they were being asked by the central government to do that so when he my grandfather reported the way he did that went against him when it was reported back to the center certain clear directions came and based on which the, the then up chief minister govind vallabh pant made an immediate dash to the district headquarters fadabad before pant could come to fadabad as of the protocol the government officials would go and receive him at the boundary of the district so my grandfather went to receive him at the boundary of the district and told him that it was not possible for him to be brought over to the spot because the devotees had gotten an impression that the state government as well as the central government wanted to remove the statue of ramlala and they would resist that raghavendra explained the situation his grandfather faced if they resist that and we try and implement the order there would be a lion order situation and pants presence at the time would be a risk that my grandfather would not want to take raghavendra said debate got heated up and mr pant said basically what gurudat ji was suggesting that neither would you take responsibility for my mind Uh, neither would you carry out my order for the removal of this statue so this will actually lead to some serious repercussions which you understand what is going to happen the clear message raghavendra said his grandfather was conveyed my grandfather stood his ground and he did not allow chief minister to go to the spot which i think was the big decision in itself and not satisfied at all with what had transpired the chief minister returned to the state headquarter he added knowing fully well what was to follow and before it could follow raghavendra said my grandfather decided to tender his resignation he immediately tender tendered his resignation but before he did that he passed two orders one was an executive order that the puja archana prayer at the ram chabutra and at the garab grah sanctum sanctorum where ramlala idol was there should be carried on without any obstruction and secondly that there should be promulgation of section 144 of crpc which would ensure that there would be no assemblies of a kind which would lead to con- confrontation with other sect of people who were already there and these two orders were implemented but my grandfather tendered the resignation my grandfather's luggage was removed at midnight and was put on the road and he was asked to leave his official residence said raghavendra who got emotional while speaking to ani he my grandfather spent the whole night on the road with his family thereafter he shifted to the flat of one of his friends bhagwati babu and also his pension was stopped so that that was the small price he paid for the decision he had taken but looking back i think it was a brave and crucial decision that he had taken people of that area know about it he added asked what kind of pressure the then central government would have faced raghavendra it was a music which was relayed the pressure which was being exerted fully knowing the sentiments of the large majority of the people but the fact that a certain section of the community may actually not like the idea and may bear a grudge against the party of that time and power at the center or the state i think that was the pressure the then prime minister must have faced or the then chief minister of the united province must have faced this shows congress party has been against ram mandir 
since independence and this family is opposing existence of ram mandir till today and people while voting must think twice not to vote for a party which is against ram mandir thank you for watching this video namaskar my dear friends thank you namaste namaskar was this video clip in which mr raghavendra explains how pandit johala nehru was against ram temple so uh, the ram lala idol was appeared at the same time uh, pakistani media just ran a story that this is uh, uh, commenting on uh, uh, india's uh, system that the place uh, which has been vacated by muslims are being just uh, uh, captured by hindus or uh, so what kind of pressure uh, the then government um, put on your grandfather you see those days were days immediately uh, after the partition so radio pakistan would obviously whether it was kashmir whether it was any other major issue in our country would uh, keep on coming up with uh, really false reports sensational reports mischievous reports so they came out with a report and that is how perhaps delhi got to know um, not so much as the state administration but i suppose delhi got to know uh, and they said that uh, this is what has happened and uh, the indians are now trying to occupy the space uh vacated by uh the one section of community because of which the partition had taken place a com one one com so to speak so this is what it was but uh when this happened in the night of uh, december 22nd and 23rd of 1949 then in the morning as soon as this news percolated around and it spread like fire then there was an influx of all the devotees and the bhakts of uh, shri ramchand ji and they all came and uh, surrounded uh, the precincts of ram chabutra um and uh, they just refused to leave and the situation was such that uh, there was no one who was wanting to hear anything against the whole idea of the removal of uh, of the murti of ram lala so so that was a that was a point in fact which had to be taken under consideration by the then city magistrate who happened to be my baba and um, so he obviously took cognizance of that and reported uh, to the state government which had wanted that this murti be removed forthwith that it is not possible and the state government had asked for its removal uh, because they were being asked by the central government to do that so when he reported the way he did then uh, that went against him obviously and uh, when it was reported back to the center uh, then there must have been a certain direction a certain clear direction based on which uh, the then chief minister govind balla pant ji he made a immediate dash to the to the district headquarters faizabad but before he could come into faizabad as was the protocol the state administration officials would go and receive him at the boundary of the district and so my grandfather he went to the boundary of the district and told him that it was not possible for him to be brought over to the spot because as it is the shraddhalus who were there had got this impression that the state government as well as the central government was wanting to remove the statue of ram lala and they would resist that and if they resist that and we try and implement the order then there would be a law and order situation and his presence at that time would be a risk uh, my grandfather would not want to take the debate got heated up and um, mr pan said that basically what uh, 
Gurudad Ji, you are suggesting is that neither would you take responsibility of mine and neither would you carry out my orders for removal of that statue. And uh, so this will actually lead to some serious repercussions which you understand uh, what it is going to happen. My grandfather uh, stood his ground and he would not allow the CM to, to go to the spot, which is, I think, a big decision in itself and um, not satisfied at all with what had transpired the CM returned to the state headquarters knowing fully well uh, that what was to follow and before it could follow my grandfather decided to tender his resignation and he immediately tendered his resignation but before he did that he passed two orders one was an executive order that Puja Archana at the Ram Chabutra and at the Garbhgri, where Ram Lala's Murti was there, should be carried on without any obstruction. And secondly, that there should be a promulgation of uh, Section 144 of CRPC, um, which would ensure that there would be no assemblage of a kind which will lead to confrontation with the other set of people who are already there. And these two orders were implemented, but my father, uh, grandfather tendered the resignation. And thereafter, obviously, uh, a kind of a response, uh, which I wouldn't say was very objective, uh, was very partisan, was followed by the state government, I'm sure the state government had uh, chosen to inform the central government of what was being done to my uh, Baba. So his uh, luggage, etc., was removed midnight, uh, and uh, that was put on the road, and he was asked to leave his official residence. So he spent the whole night, the wintry night, um, on the roads with his family. And thereafter, in the morning, he shifted to a small flat on the third floor of a friend of his, Bhagwati Babu. And uh, also his pension was stopped. So, well, but that was a very small price he felt, and he told us to pay for the decision we, which he had taken. But uh, looking back, I think it was a brave, critical, crucial decision which he had taken. People of that area know about it. A particular community, or what was that? You see, it was not so much as as what the Pakistani radio had said. Actually, what Pakistan radio had said was more of a news which came to the central government. So, the impact was only to the extent that it was a news which was relayed, very mischievous. In, in the way it was put forth, as usual, which Pakistan Radio was wont to doing at that time. But the pressure which was being exerted that, no, this cannot be, and fully knowing the, the sentiments of a large majority of people, but for the fact that a certain section of the community may actually not like the whole idea and may bear grudge against the party of that time and power, be it at the center or the state. I think that was the pressure which uh, the then Prime Minister must have faced or uh, the then CM uh, of uh, the United Provinces must have faced.